Um, so um, I'll just show you some of the skills that you can do with the rope um, and some of the skills that I'll be teaching uh, the students here um, in the PE classes uh, before, before school and maybe during the lunch time. Um, so there's a lot of different skills you can do. Um, you've got skills where you're crossing the center of your body like that, you can cross behind your back, <laughs> cross uh, behind your knees like that. Um, you can rotate, turn around like that. You can rotate while doing the cross. Um, you can do what are called uh, rope manipulation skills or rope releases, where you're letting go of uh, one or both handles of the rope. And then you catch it again. Go between one leg. Uh, you can rotate while letting go of the rope. Like that. You can let go of both handles. You can throw it up a little bit higher. Um, so those are a few skills you can do. Um, you can take a rope like this. We call it a licorice rope. It's made out of plastic. Um, you can do some pretty fast, pretty crazy skills. Um, the, the first thing you saw me do was just a, a basic uh, single bounce jump, we call it. Every time your feet leave the ground, uh, the rope goes under one time. You can jump a little bit higher, turn the rope two times under in one jump. If you jump a little bit higher and turn the rope a little bit faster, you get three times under, like that. Wow. Uh, if you go a little bit higher and a little bit faster, you can get four times, just like that. Um, and sometimes on a good day, you can get five times. So let's see if it's a good day. So instead of doing one skill, and then another skill, and then another, you start to combine those into one routine, <laughs> like that, and you just um, put them all together in a routine. So that would be an example of um, a, a shortened uh, version of a routine. Um, in competition, you would do a routine that's about anywhere between 45 seconds and 75 seconds. Um, Long term for the sport here in, in Kenya and in Tanzania, um, fast forward four and a half years, summer 2014, um, I'd like to send a team or two teams, um, one from Tanzania, one from Kenya, to the World Championships. Um, the location has not yet been determined. Um, the 2010 World Championships will be held in London. Um, 2012, I'm not sure yet. 2014, still not sure. Um, but that's sort of my dream looking forward four and a half years. Looking forward about 20 or 30 years, Olympics. That's what I'm. That's that's my one of my main goals. Um, you need a minimum of 75 countries, uh, spanning four continents, um, to be even considered for entry into the Olympics. Um, right now we have about 20 that are competing, so we're still very very low scale. Uh, there's 30 to 35 that have national organizations. They aren't yet competing. Um, so my hope is to add Kenya and Tanzania to that count. Um, once they're well established and they, they've, they're self-sufficient and working on their own, maybe starting in Uganda, maybe a completely new continent, I've never been to South America, love to go there. Um, anyone have any ideas? I'd love to go to a school somewhere. Um, but yeah, that's my goal. I want to see Jumper reach the Olympic level. Um, 
So I'll show you. This is an example of um, from my routine that I did at the national competition this year. Um, yeah. So just uh, okay. short step. excited to be here. Um, I'm, this is the dream job for me. I'm doing exactly what I want to be doing. Um, I love working with kids, love traveling, and I love jump rope. Um, so I'm combining my three passions basically. And uh, I'm very, very excited to start in Kenya. Um, I've done a little bit of teaching uh, sort of informally with some of the kids here um, in Tanzania. There's great, great potential. The best kid I've seen is this probably four foot tall, ten year old kid from Dar es Salaam, uh, who is going to be probably better than me in a couple of years, actually. He's unbelievable. Um, but I think that the same can happen here, um, and I'm just really excited to see who here at the Academy can be that next uh, world champion, the next leader for Kenya as, as this new sport is introduced. So, thank you. That's about all I